This is an Enchi Chocolate Clown. This is something that we're going to be shooting for kind of soon, actually. Um, I really like the chocolate gene, and uh, you know we're trying to do recessive in a lot of stuff as well. And Justin's the king of recessive. This is a chocolate Enchi Clown. Super pretty. Very cool. You like the chocolate stuff. Yeah. If you want to show the cho show the cool chocolate stuff, it's right here. <laughs> That one is not that cool. I feel like it's cool for people that yeah, see, don't this have This is the mentality I have. I, mess, I, I, I have a hard time with myself in, in that in those shoes sometimes. But in my mind, like if it's not interesting to me, it's not interesting to anyone. Right. <laughs> you know? That's where my brain goes. What's <laughs> So we, we talk about peach. What do you think about the peach stuff? It's cool. It's just something that I'm still exploring, so we don't really know what its potential is yet. But yeah, we, we made the first kind of, these are our first peach head pies. That's single okay. gene. You see it looks a lot like an OD. You know, it's really yeah. bright and really pretty. It's got very peachy sides and overall. So that's what mm -hmm. they look like if you just breed it to a normal, you're gonna get half these, Yeah. half normals. So it's peach. Right, so then we did OD peach, which is basically, it looks like an OD, but it's got, again, brighter peachy on the sides. You see mm -hmm. the halfway point where the peach really kicks in, you know? Yeah, for it sure. down the sides and you see, really see it in the OD. Mm -hmm. Then we got Inchy Peach, which this is neat because it really kicks in on that, on those flanks there. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to yeah. push this uh -huh. granite up top. It up. Yep. Um, OD Inchy Ooh. Peach. Yeah, now yeah. you're starting to really you get... really see the delineation yeah. line. And the overall color is just very extreme. Mm -hmm. And remember, Head Pied makes all these slightly darker. Head Pied darkens things typically. Yeah. So to see that much brightness on any kind of head pod, and that's the whole thing, OD, Inchy, YB, Peach. Wow. Uh, but see how pure the orange is as you get Yeah, that it. yellow belly really kicks it, it up does, a notch, It does, huh? it does. So neat. Shoo. So. Man. But this is the only clutch of peach I did this year. Um, just, just the head pods. And, but next year we'll have some more powerful stuff going and hopefully learn more about it. Maybe more yeah. like some supers and that cool. sort of thing. So you're showing me uh, chocolate. chocolate. I'm looking for it here as we're talking. Um, there he is. So this is a big one. You probably saw this one at Tinley. Oh yeah, it's yeah. The cool, the coolest, one of the coolest ball python they ever made. It's definitely here, I'll leave that to you. Yeah. So, so this is, what was the full? <laughs> it is a chocolate spot nose, yellow belly, red striped clown. Ah, uh, it's got the red strip too. It's got all the, all the stuff in there. I love the head on that. It's got. Yeah. It's like it was wearing a mask, you know. Yeah, yeah. These dots on the side are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And just the red that's coming in on the edges. Mm-hmm. Really, really cool. And compare that to the Pompeii, right? Which is the. Mm. Uh, it's in shed. But you can see the colors. The Pompeii's got a lot more kind of rusty Red. reds, but this has got a lot more drama with the black going on. So it's, yeah, it's yeah. kind of a, a matter of- What do you like? You know, what do you like, exactly. Yeah. But they're both extremely neat. It's really cool. I like the chocolate blue. A lot of people say that, <laughs> yeah. I like the red, I think it's cool. I like dark snakes though too. It's neat so. to see the contrast. Yeah. In pretty much all my combos is I'm always looking, when I get good color, I'm like, how, how do I add contrast? When you have all con contrast, I think, how do I get more color? You're always trying to find that balance. Mm -hmm. Because without the darkness and the contrast, the color has no context. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes the animals beautiful to, you know, to the eye, is having that. Yeah, man. The combination. And this is another one that was... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that is an OD Yellow Belly Blade Clown Pied. Look at that. Yeah, it's <laughs> a little bright. Mm -hmm. A little bright. And that head is just so cool. It's like war paint. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It looks crazy. like the head doesn't belong to the body in a way. It definitely doesn't. Do you think that's a paradox or do you think that always happens? No, that's just, that's always happens. We've made a few of them now. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Wild stuff. That's like, that's a wild snake there. Mm -hmm. Man. All right, so you're, you're showing us around a lot of really cool animals. Do you, yeah. uh, what? Show us like one of your clutches that you're really working with and something that just hatched maybe, something real cool. So we have a Gene X Super OD, I'm super excited about it. Let's let check that out. Okay, let's check that out. All right, so these are three babies that came from 
OD and she yellow belly gene X pod. The one I tried to show over there was in shed. Really so OD and she yellow belly gene X pod. These things are on yeah. fire. Right to an um, OD pod. So we have a double dose of OD in there as well now. <laughs> okay, to an OD pod. Yeah. Uh, I would say, man, I would say that this one looks. Oh, this one looks brighter than the other ones. Mm -hmm. As crazy as that is, right. just because of the eye stripes there. So, but I guess the, they all kind of look the same. Yeah, they're all the same, definitely. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. So, um, I would say that this is a super orange dream and these two aren't. Is that okay. it's unpopular? Possible. No, it's, it's, it's <laughs> entirely possible that you're right. So with all this stuff, it's also experimental, right? Because mm. we make we make it, and then these exact things haven't been made, and so we have very little to compare it to. So we just use our best guesses, right? Yep. And then we find out years later if we're right or, right or not. Right. But this one we have pegged as Odie and she yellow belly pied. Okay. Okay. So we get the yellow belly, which shows, which comes in really heavy on those speckling on the sides. You see how those, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How they're real jagged yep. pattern saddles. Okay. Okay, I can um, see that. And she adds all the pattern, and of course, OD. Right. Throws the throws the sure. color up. Okay? And I think that this head, the back of the head there, right, a bit of that out. The sure. The orange dream. Now this one I believe is the super OD version. So mm -hmm. the same thing animal plus super orange dream, which gives the the next boost of color. Yep and really makes it really pop. I can see that. I think this one is Super OD Yellow Belly without Inchi. Because so see how it has the kind of the striping and everything? Mm -hmm. Where the Inchi really disrupts the pattern, makes it more yeah, blob yeah, yeah. and amorphous kind of thing. Yeah, and these the eye stripes are a little thinner on this one than mm -hmm. that. Right, the, the Inchi two. does add wider eye stripes. Yeah, yeah. For sure, but... So Tough beautiful. call, yeah. yeah. And sometimes there's variation in you know like yes. what it actually expresses. So sometimes you'll get like the same snake or close, and they look very different. They look for no very reason. different. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah we think that because we we get that you know too, and sure. we're always texting people, hey, what do you guys think about this? You know, what you? and you text all your friends, you know. Of course, everybody texts Ozzy, hey, so the Orange Dream stuff, what do you think? And he's like, stop you texting me, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's That's tough awesome. because, you know, I, I complain about this sometimes. Like, I spend so much time carefully playing my clutches so that the babies are as easy as possible to tell. Right. They are, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and making what I want to make in my knowledge base to make it as easy as possible. And then I end up spending, like, an hour, hours a week mm -hmm. I didn't know people's clutches that didn't do that at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I paid the price. You know, one right. way or the other, I'm paying the price. Um, right. I think stuff is really, really hard to tell. It is. And especially when people send you pictures of stuff and you're like, They're well, you're using it with right. your camera and who or your phone. And well, we don't have any context to look yeah. at other, other siblings or anything. Right. Um, and the reality is, is that when you get to a certain level in this, in this hobby is that you have to become comfortable with not knowing. Yeah. You have to. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's a really important part of it. You just have to know that Someday you're, you'll find out, but it's okay not to know for a while in the meantime. Yeah. And just accept that. And so. these things are just smoking hot. Neon snakes. Yeah. You would make one of these with, some, with that snake from Miguel. Yeah. You know? We're going to give that a whirl. Very, very cool. We're, uh, you know, I think we're going to try to breed them to like 25 females, so. No. Oh, for sure. 100. <laughs> yeah, we can probably get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have, we have, uh, we're actually pretty female heavy. We we're just talking about it. We have like 13 males to like 85 females at the That's moment. That's the best way to be though. Yeah, we just need to, we'll probably end up picking up a couple more males over the next year or two. And you can find males though. You can't find adult females. So you yeah. the right side of, of the oh, equation. Agreed, you agreed. Be, so. Man, thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah. it. So, okay. So this would be the lobby reception area. We have a kitchenette and some eating area for employees. And that's kind of the goal is that I was telling him we only have about 30% more um, actual animal space. Which okay. is, and we don't, we're not looking to expand. Like we, may, we may grow slightly over time, but that's not the goal. Um, right. But we wanted to have some of the amenities that make life and work and everything more enjoyable. You know? Sure. We were never actually going to build a snake building, but we needed a new house for the family. Mm -hmm. you know, if we're going to make the move, might as well. I, I would like the idea of making it better, you know? Yeah, sure. So, so this room will be reception, um, place for employees and myself to eat lunch and all that good stuff. 
um, a lot of logo on here. This is the special project room, which will be for all of our non-ball python projects. Okay. Very cool stuff we want to keep for fun. Mm -hmm. Sure. So yeah, it's see how many go. A room. But all of the you know modern lizards and dark frogs and just the cool oh, stuff yeah. that we yeah, sure. for us to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. They do like lines and all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you that. Yeah, the bathroom. So I used this, it. I used the bathroom. This this one. Is kind of the, the, the cool thing I thought of when we were making this out. I mean, really cool just to get the scope of it, you know, yeah. right out here. It uh, looks like a lab. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's kind of neat because this would be the first time I've ever had an office in, every, in an area that was not snake room temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> so, that's that great. Is a, uh, it's a kind of nice, you know, you only be working in this thing, environment of the snakes. Um, so, my office is obviously in the work zone right now. Mm -hmm. um, and Jace, you know, my employee area here, we're all going to work together. We're not trying to. Yeah. And the team mentality. And then, as you walk through here, we'll have the blue wall with the logo, and it'll be, you know, exactly the same, you know, continuity that we're used to from the other building. Right. So, we, went, we wanted to kind of give it that, there it is, um, that similar look. So, people on YouTube, whatever, like, hey, you know, way to change, but in a way, they're still the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, That's great. Better than I'm spinning. Too fast. I'm spinning. Um, yeah, it is very good lighting. So I like the floors and incubator, same size as we had, you know, pretty much the same there. Um, mm -hmm. So we have, in a way, the layout's the same. We have a patching room kind of in the same area. It's a little more dedicated. The, the thing we did is we separated the areas out a little more with our own sinks mm -hmm. so that we could have someone working in an area and someone else working on another section of snakes without, without being talking to each other. Server, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, because right now, like, if someone's working on one side of the room and I need to do something, I gotta wait potentially hours for them to finish. You know, it's kind of separates it out a little more. There's some storage in there for boxes and shipping and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Hatchlings, um, this would be kind of some of the stuff notes will be along the walls around this sink, around here. Um, just a couple yearling racks we have, for those uh, free rear hatchling racks that keep the whole back so you're right out here. And then this will be the adult wing, and it'll be pretty much identical to what we have on the other side um, at the other place. The only difference is if we opened it up so we walk back around, we can start at the end of it and walk back out. Right, right. Or so, have to walk past somebody and like squeeze by. Exactly. And so we made it in a way just more efficient and more planned. Yeah, that's great. So this is obviously uh, staging and storage and parking. And Right. Good stuff. We have massive space above for storage. Okay. So basically the entire building size up there is tall enough we can put some other one of the part of rooms in there. Oh, yeah. Right, right. This time. Um, Very cool. Truck loading dock. Yeah, we noticed that when we were pulling in. Loading dock is a big deal. The rodents. Yeah, yeah rodents right. inside. Mm -hmm. Same building. Nice. Yeah. Tree proof walls. Yeah. Much bigger fans. Yep. Just better all around. We made a lot of things better. Um, but yeah, so we're pulling it in there, blowing it out there, you know. Aside from you know, any smell going a little into, into that whole area, there's, there's no completely different HVAC, everything's separate, so we're not going to have any crossover of smell. That's good. That's great, man. That's awesome. So. Question, what, what tips would you give somebody that is trying to build their, their own little like, you know, it, whether it be a shed or, a, or, or like a, a bigger facility? This is my third facility that I've built from the scratch. Okay. You know? So I would say it's just think through it, you know, spend all the time, you, all the time you spend on the planning stages is so well, you know, <coughs> so well worth it on the other side. Mm -hmm. You know, I, sp I probably went through, you know, probably almost a hundred drawings of this place, you know, just trying to make it a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit mm -hmm. better, and imagine myself walking through it and, you know, how it would work, and mm -hmm. the next one after this one's going to be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to figure out all the stuff I got yeah. wrong, you know. What, what was uh, one of your big, like, ahas, like, oh man, I should, from your first or your second one, you changed to this one, like, 
You know, I don't know. I think we're just trying to accomplish different things. The first one was a single room, mm -hmm. right? And it was just really straightforward and it worked fine. But you couldn't have more than one person working in there, period. Just too yeah. small, you know? And so it, we started getting more help. And I'm like, man, I wish someone else was working there or I could work in there with someone else. We could do it together. So when we got the new building, rectified that. We had an office for the first time. But then we, get, we started getting on top of each other again mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, and then the ability to bring in things like bulk and stuff like that. That's oh, all, yeah. That's all, you know. Mm -hmm. Having a loading dock is like... Right. Once you get to a level where you're kind of operating well and, and doing well, you start to think, oh, how can I fix the friction points? Yeah. And that's what this building kind of addressed in a way. Yeah, no, it looks so, great, man. I, I'm excited to see it done. Like, this yeah, is... Yeah, thank you. This is very nice and... Yeah, but I'm very excited about it. Seems pretty well planned out. We're only about 10 days away from the old move, so... I can't even believe that, it's, you know... It's always... That's how it always goes, though. You're like, that last little bit, you know? Like, it <laughs> really seems like, I can't believe we're going to get from here to here in such a short uh, time. We've been in that last little bit now for about a month, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. We even have, like, at the middle here, we have a, a roll-up door. Mm -hmm. and there's a retaining wall below it. You saw the retaining wall that fits yeah, yeah. in. But we can take and uh, dump, the, dump the animal shavings directly into our spreader right here, which is exactly the, the right height. Oh, okay. So stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so we've been Ooh. rolling up a ramp to put it in, just saving our backs and you know, making, it, making it more enjoyable to do the work. Yeah, so, sure. So. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Yeah. It's real smart. I like it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour here with Justin. Um, we got some cool stuff. There's way more stuff here than uh, we can even show. Can't even touch it to be honest. So um, make sure you guys follow him on Instagram and check out his YouTube videos. Also, uh, go on Morph Market, buy some stuff from him, buy a couple t-shirts. He told me that everybody has to buy a t-shirt that watches this. I don't know why, it's just rules. Little, rules. <laughs> So thank you so much and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to us and hit that notification bell. You wanna tell me what you think, Zenon? <laughs> I can try. <laughs> Ben's right. great at ideas. I, I don't know, cause I, I'm I guessing, know. but I don't know for sure, you know? Anytime I need some idea, I ask Ben. <laughs> That's not true. No. He just makes fun of me actually the whole time. Mm -hmm. Are you rolling on that? All right. Of course you asked so you can laugh at them. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens.